All right, so in previous parts of our project so far, we've been able to add our inventory and we could add items, but we can see that after we plant, we wait for just a second here, and we collect these guys, then it still doesn't go into our inventory. So what do we need to do? Well, we've created this add item function, right? but how do we use it? Well, it's actually not that hard. What we need to do is open up or find our plant. We'll open up our plant.gd. And what we're going to do actually real quick is we're going to open up play. We're going to go into our, well, I'm going to plan something first here. I'm going to go to remote world and find the plant. So this is where the plant resides. Now, the problem, or not necessarily a problem, but the thing that we need to do here is access this GUI inventory through or all the way from our plant. So what we need to do is get parent once, get parent again, and then again. We'll get parent three times, and then we'll go down to GUI, and then down to inventory. So what we can do is in the harvest function, all we need to do is say get node, and this is there's a few ways. Either we could actually just do get parent and then do that three times. But I'm going to do it this way just to kind of show you. We can do dot dot and then slash dot dot slash dot dot slash. This is get parent get parent get parent. Now we'll say GUI and then slash inventory. That is inventory right there. And now all we need to do is say dot add item and then the name of the item, which is tomato in our case. And now if we hit play one more time, we'll go down to the plant, we can plant it, we can wait just a second. And then once we harvest it, we have a problem immediately. All right, so cool. So it says invalid access tomato. So that means tomato does not exist. So we can see that immediately I made a mistake. The tomato is lowercase, whereas here I did it in uppercase. So that's my bad. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. And now if we try one more time, we can see, or should be able to see here, we can now collect it and it is destroyed. And there we go. Now, there are a few other things that you might have imagined. The one example that I can immediately see is when I harvest something, the label is still showing. Now, I'm going to actually kind of end the series here, but these are things that make the game more fun. And essentially, these are things that you can add to yourself. So think about it. Think about, okay, hey, you know, when I harvest my plant, so in my plant shady, the label right here is still showing. It still says, uh, it should say, wait for the plant to grow. Right? So all these uh, texts are not exactly proper uh, and you have the label still showing. So you might say, hey, you know what? When I harvest, I'm gonna get my label and dot hide. Right? I'm not gonna do this. In fact, I don't think this would work because the plant uh, is a child of the dirt. So you need to go up and then get the label or whatever way you want to do it. So I want you to think about that. Think about, hey, okay, I want to access the label from the plant and then hide the label once I harvest. Because once you harvest, well, there's nothing there anymore. Or maybe you don't want to hide. Maybe you want to change the text, which maybe that is something you want to do. Maybe you want to change it back to press E to harvest. And so these are things that you can do and add to your game that will make your game, well, just a little better than what it is now. So. That is pretty much it for this series. Uh, we have pretty much completed most of it. There is one last thing that we can add into our GUI, which we'll do very quickly here. We will add our script to our GUI. Script, GUI, open, create. And now what we'll do is I'm simply going to add a functionality here that is going to allow me to pause and unpause the game and show the inventory based on whether my scene is paused or not. Now, to make this work, though, we need to first go to the GUI, go to the process, make sure the mode is on always. Next, we need to go to project settings and make sure that we have pause. Here, I'm going to just set escape like so, hit close, hit play. And lastly, we should be able to hit escape and show the game. And it is paused, so I can't move. But once it's hidden, I can now. In fact, actually, when I hit play here or escape, you can see that the plants stop growing. So that is something that you might want to think about, too. 
Think about how you're pausing the scene and the timer is stopped. So maybe you want the timer to keep going. So yeah, these are things that you need to think about and add on your own. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. If you have, definitely check out my channel. Uh, I have a lot of more videos. I also have a website that you can check out down below. I have a subscriber list uh, where I send out weekly challenges, stuff like that. Uh, I try to give you guys a lot of value through those. It is all free, so definitely check those out. I do have some paid courses on my website, so do check those out as well to support me. And hopefully I'll see you all in the future. Bye-bye for now.